Well, here we come with uh, an arena event, which uh, I'm really looking forward to. Uh, they brought their own commentator along. We'll be able to pick that up in the ring in a moment. But this is the East Anglian, the East Anglian Staffordshire Bull Terrier demonstration team. And uh, the way they've got the arena set up with lots of uh, the usual agility and obstacle items out there, I think you're going to have some fun with this. It's a lovely breed, the Staffordshire Bull Terrier, and all of these from uh, the counties in the east, easternmost part of uh, Great Britain. Norwich, Suffolk, Hertfordshire, Essex, even across as far as uh, Bedfordshire and down towards uh, the east side of London, the northeast side of London. Big area, and that's where these dogs and these people all come from. So what are we going to see? Well, you're going to see for a start, seeing the way the little baby's being carried around there. It's not a baby or is it a doll? Can't tell at this distance uh, that these dogs are extremely good with children, which they are. Anyway, the Staffordshire Bull Terrier demonstration team from East Anglia. And I'm going to hand over now to the ring commentator. The lady at the end, now facing the audience, is Cheryl Ferguson, late of EastEnders. I'm absolutely shattered already. I'm shattered. I've just walked round and I'm shattered already, Christine. Oh my, oh, I've got to run. So I haven't not, run since 1973, not, not hold on. <laughs> oh. You're not going to go round and over the jumps then, Cheryl? What, eh? You're not going to go over the jumps for us? Am I doing what? Going over the jumps. Oh, yes, certainly. <laughs> Good for you. I'm watching and I'm learning. <laughs> right, the first one up to give you a demonstration is Bacon. Bacon is owned by Jo. She enjoys every moment of her action-packed life and shows no signs of slowing down, even though she's getting older. She's grade seven agility. She has a gold agility award and is also a pat dog. Away from competition, she stars in Dogstrust videos. The current pet plan advert has been on Blue Peter, Good Morning, and in the Channel 4 top drama, Mar Boy as Marnie the dog. And she's very fast. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Bacon with Joe. Now that was quite fast, that wasn't it? That was oh, fast she's a very Christine. fast bitch, yes. Have I got to go that fast? <laughs> well, it would be helpful, okay, yes. Okay. All right, what's next? You don't next necessarily up. have to do the tunnel, though, Cheryl. Next up, we're having Dakota and Avril. And Dakota is seven years old and was bred by Joe. Oh, he lives with Safi, a 12-year-old Stafford, and has been part of the team in the past. And Milo, who also lives with another Stafford, and also a Labrador. His humans are Avril and Lee, and their latest addition is baby Isabella, who is now seven months old, and best friend to Dakota. Again, another quite fast runner. Ladies and gentlemen, Dakota and Avril. <laughs> now we have Murray with Laura. Murray is only a pup. He's in early training, so he's just going to show off his new learning skills. He is 10 months old, and he's the son of Mouse, who you will see running. He was born and bred in Holland, so you have to speak Dutch to him. Okay. He's named after Andy Murray. I don't know if he plays tennis, but he's very good with a ball. Um, he was chosen to live with Laura, Paul, and their children, Ted and George, and he lives here, obviously, in Great Britain. He's just starting to train for his agility career. So what we're seeing really here is a training round. It doesn't always go as we wish, but they do try and they do enjoy it. And he's also working to his Bronze Good Citizen Award. He's known as the Little Piglet. <laughs> he pretty much eats everything and anything. Last week he chewed his lead and he's chewed the car seat belts. I think if she fed him once a week, it'd be better. That is the puppy Murray. Next in, we're having Queenie again with Joe. Queenie is 22 months old and again a little Dutch girl. She comes from the Quinlan Kennels in Holland. She's yet to start competing in agility, but as you can see, she is raring to go. Quite a speed merchant, this one. Um, she has started showing 
and she started a showbiz career. She was placed in the breed here today <laughs> and would like to say hello to the audience in close-up. Quite a little prima donna, this one. But it is the nature of the breed that they love to be with people. Shouldn't really be in the middle of competition, but she doesn't really care. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the nature of the dog. If you choose one of these that you're going to live with, lively, biddable, trainable, but so much fun. That is Queenie with Joe. Next in, we have Maddie, who is four years old, and she's running with Rachel. They live in the Lake District with her brother Danny and Rachel's older dog, Amber. She apparently is the naughtiest dog in the world and has heard and every single spot that she has on her body is known as a naughty spot, one for every adventure. Uh, they compete in fly, fly ball with the Phantoms fly ball team and are looking forward to traveling to France in July for the European fly ball championships. She's a very cheeky character and anything could happen. We're just all crossing our fingers. <laughs> Yes, there is another jump there, darling. Okay, she said, if you really want me to. <laughs> Thank you, Maddie and Rachel. Now we have Mia, who's running with Laura. We're at the other end of the scale now because Mia is almost 12 years old and has been part of the display team for many years. She has represented Great Britain in the European Agility Champi Championships over four consecutive years in Belgium, Czechoslovakia, Sweden, and Austria. She's a great family pet and enjoys spending her evenings snuggled up by the fire and sneaking onto the sofa. She lives with Murray, the new SBT pub in the household, and a Kelpie. Um, she always carries a rock stick or stone in her mouth when she's out on a walk. She likes to lick her lips and feet to get attention and hates having her nails clipped. I know the feeling. Thank you very much to Mia and Laura. Are you enjoying this, Cheryl? Are you enjoying this, Cheryl? Oh, sorry. Yes, I was. Yes, I'm. I'm, I'm loving it. You're just wondering how you're going to get through. I'm just wondering how I'm going to get through the tube. <laughs> I will help you. We'll okay. grease it on the inside. Yeah. Because you know, I, I've been stuck in the Blackwell Tunnel before now, and it's not very <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, you and me both. Okay. Are you all enjoying now? it, everyone? Do remember, you Good. can shout for your favourites. Okay, we're going to see Ria with Simon next. Thank you. Rhea is four years old and came to uh, Simon and Kerry when she was eight. She's top grade six in the Rescue League and qualified for their finals for the third year running. She has a habit of leaping at people at head height to kiss them. Her agility trainers have learnt to greet her with their arms folded across their faces. That way they hang on to their makeup. Uh, Rhea did a run last year with her eight-year-old human and quickly went off to get lost. Thank you very much to Ria and Simon. We now have Squirt and Ali, and she certainly squirts like the bullet out of a gun. Squirt is five years old, and her owner is Ali Taylor. Ali is head of Cane Fine Welfare at Battersea Dogs and Cats Home. Squirt is a Battersea Rescue, as she is now telling you. Just in case you can't hear me, you can hear, hear her. Uh, she doesn't compete in agil agility, but does like to train once a week. She has appeared on TV, she's been on the Paula Grady Show and on CBBC. In her working life, she is used in education, visiting schools, young offenders and Belmarsh Prison. She also loves to visit the Chelsea pensioners. It's not just for therapy, I think they have biscuits with their cups of tea. And I love the extra little twiddle in the middle of the wreath. She makes her own course up as she goes. Well done, Squirt. Thank you, Ali. Yes, extra applause, please, for a Battersea rescue. Next up, we have Mizen and Sandra. Mizen is two-year-old and definitely a posh Essex girl. She lives with two of the Staffords and her best friend, Totty, a Springer. Mitzen is the Lara Croft of the Stafford world. She scales gates, fences, swims in the sea, and runs down rabbits. She is a full-on hunter. She doesn't catch them, though. 
Fortunately, she likes her crate and kennel, so can be confined when needed. She loves cuddles and is a pig with food. Uh, she can easily jump onto the kitchen work surfaces and clear everything, so don't leave your lunch where it's reachable. And if you've got it on your knees at the moment, put your hands on the top just in case she comes looking. She started her agility career in April. She's the smallest staff as Sandra and her husband have, hence the nickname of Tuppence. They have a military theme in this family. Here we have Mizzen. They also have Skipper, Tiller, Marina, Bosun, and Totty. Apparently from the Bosun's Totty. So thank you very much, Mizzen and Sandra. Next, we're going to have Belle and Angela. I didn't have to say, ready, steady, go, did I? She did it for me. Belle is grade five agility. Her kennel, good, her kennel club name is Long Drive Ebony Girl at Zackelbets. Belle lives with Zach, who is running today, and loves to boss him about at home. She likes to make everyone aware she is the Belle of the Ball, as you can hear. She is loving and quite the fruit loop of the family. Her nickname is Nutty Nora. Keeping up with Belle is definitely a challenge. Keeps Angela on her toes and keeps her fit. She likes to be seen and heard, as I'm sure you have realised. So thank you very much for Belle and Angela. Now we have Mo, Mo, sorry, Mouse. You saw his son earlier on. Now here is Mouse. Mouse is also bred by Joe and is the only Stafford ever to have won a junior warrant and an agility warrant. So J-W-A-W -W comes after his name. He's nicknamed the Jihuahua. He also has two reserve CCs, so beauty and brains. He completes at grade seven agility. He's a male model and has appeared in ads for Bowden, Bench, and had a fleeting role in EastEnders. Although he may look tough, his pet name is Mr. Fuzzy Felt. Oh dear, four faults. I don't think he knew his right from his left there. Thank you very much, Mouse and Joe. Do, do I recognise this dog? I think you do. Yeah, because I think this dog's been, uh, been on EastEnders before. Yes, he has. I think he was uh, my mate Shirley's little uh, cameo role doggy for he a while. He was indeed, he? yes. Uh, Shirley, yes. what's she doing now, eh? <laughs> No, I don't know. Yeah, she should have stuck with the dog and left Phil Mitchell behind, oh, shouldn't she? Left she left Phil Mitchell, yeah, that's yeah. another dog, but there we go. <laughs> He's a dirty dog. Oh, I'm, is it me? Am I on? <gasps> yes. So excited about this. Come on, this is Zach. Is this Zach, isn't it? Yes. Right, this is Zach. Hello, Zach. Come with me. No, hang on a minute. Oh, Zach, 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 Zach. Listen, come here, mate. Come here. Come with me. I don't do running. Zach, I don't do running. We'll have a little stroll. Is that all right? Come on. We have a little stroll. I don't do running. Not, no, 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 no. Where are you going? Come here. This way. Right, me and you are going to have a little chat. Is that all right? Zach, some people have compared me to a staffy in the past. They've gone, oh, she's very sturdy. She's very loyal. She's lovable. She's dependable. Zach, 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 typical bloke. He's not even listening. Come here. Zach, 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 I love you, I love you, love you, over here, this way, Go, this way, this is just like, exactly like trying to get my husband here, come on, anyway, as I was saying, Zach, loyal, de dependable, lovable, another bloke drying down an owl, look at it, dependable, lovable, come, come, Zach, Zach, I've got treats, treats, Oh, anyway, as I was saying, I'm I, I, they compare me to dependable, lovable, et cetera, et cetera. Also a little bit ditzy, which I know some staffies get that little uh, reputation, don't they? Yeah. Oh, have I got to run now? Oh, my, I, I said I ain't done that since 1973. Come on, let's go, 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 come on. Check it up, get up, get up, in the hole, in the hole, get in the hole, get in the hole. Out the other end, out the other end, down the bottom, over the thing, over the thing. Go on, yes, and another one, back again. And right now, let's see if you can do this thing. Well, In and out, weave, 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 weave. 
Weave. Careful how you pronounce Weave. that, Cheryl. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Right, am Cheryl. Supposed, am I supposed to follow the dog? Yeah, could right, you come over, on, please? Way. No, 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 where are you going now? Zaki, Zaki, up here, up the ramp, up the ramp. Up, so, whoa, Zaki, 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 stay there. You're so beautiful. I love you, lads. Come on, this way, this way, Zack, Zack, Zack. Do you want treats? Do you want treats? Do you love me? Do you? Could you, on, yeah, could come you come here. over now, Cheryl, please? All right, all right. Thank you. Of course. They take the wine your neck in, didn't they? Oh, come here. Through the owl, through the owl. Yay! Where's he gone? Sit down. Good boy. I think that is interesting yeah. because if you want to have a go at this, when you first start, that is the kind of thing that's going to happen to you. The dog will make its own mind up what it's going to do. But we'd like to have Cheryl come over, just as Ms. Mento of the day. We'd like to say thank you with Ooh. a proper little thank you rosette for you, Cheryl. Oh, thank um, you very much. It was lovely watching you. So thank oh, you very much for coming to join us. We are now going to show I you... I need two of these because they need to go somewhere else. We'll see what we can do. Two. What we're going to do now is just show you briefly what happens in agility competition oh, okay. when you have two dogs running off against each other. Um, at this side we have Bacon and at the other side we have Dakota and this is like a time trial. So if you're ready girls, ready, steady, go. Is it boys versus girls? Yes. Come on boys, come on boys. <laughs> Got to get on a boy. No, come, come on, on boys. Girls. I know you're brother and sister, but come on, girls, come on. Come on, boys. Who wants the boys? Come on, boys. Come on, Bacon. Hey. Come on, you boys. Shout out for the boys. Let's uh, hear a hoo-ha for the boys. OK, ladies oh, and gentlemen, oh, nice. that finishes our sh little show for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you're interested in having a go, please come and talk to us on the benches at the back of the arena. You can meet the dogs, you can meet the handlers, and we'd love to see you. And thank, thank you very, you very much, much everybody. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your day.